Hello, this is Cindy. Welcome to my channel and to day six of the July Jelly Postcard Play, July Postcard Play. I have my postcards out and I'm going to again do a shuffle. I have no idea what I'm going to come up with. Um, okay, this one is, nope, that is done. That's okay. We can keep doing this. We're shuffling. We're shuffling. We're shuffling, we're picking. Oh, okay, I like this one. There isn't a lot to do on this one today, so this will be a short video. So this particular one, I already had put a piece of um, print up here at the top, and I don't want to cover up my little sigil down there at the bottom. I like that, but I do want to cover up this pink piece. So, um, hang on, I'm going to get some washi. Okay, I pulled out some washi and then I found the extra scraps that I had from this piece as well that I may or may not use. And really this was, I'm going to have to call this one jelly adjacent because it wasn't, um, this was a, a jelly piece that I made actually before I had a jelly plate. It was using the same type of techniques but on a completely different surface and so I'm going to call this one jelly adjacent get a little bit of glue on the back of my washi because I want to make sure it sticks down there we go just going over the top of that edge ever so slightly. It's not quite where I want it. There. Covers up the sigil just a little bit, but it's washy. You can see through it. There we go. Let me get my washi sheet. For those of you who don't know, who are fairly new to the channel, um, I keep all of these little bits of washi. And then once this is completely filled, I've already filled one this same size. I cut it up and use it for tags. Because why not? It's just fun. I also did some stamping off on that one. Okay, so I have my sixes. I have two sixes today. I don't know which one I want to use. Um, got the great big six, and then I got the, the little house six. I kind of like the little house six. I know, I, did, I probably should have done houses early on because I have these cute little numbers that are houses, but I don't have... I'm doing butterflies first and houses second. So maybe we'll just put that up there and call this one done. This is a short one and I that's okay. They don't all have to be incredibly long. If you are enjoying yourself, please make sure you hit the subscribe button and hit like to let YouTube know that you like them. Um, I do... You know what? I do want to put a little butterfly on here. I have a little itty bitty butterfly stamp. Let me find my little itty bitty butterfly stamp. Hang on. Okay. I do want to put just a little butterfly on here. Since butterflies are our theme for the first 10 or so days, I have this very, very tiny butterfly. So maybe we'll just put him on there in Lumberjack Plaid. I have Lumberjack Plaid right here. Let's see what he's going to look like. Yeah, I think that's going to look just fine down here. Perfect. So we have our butterfly, we have our number, and we have plenty of places to write on this one. This is definitely a 
writable postcard on both sides. All right, if you are enjoying these videos, as I said, please make sure you hit the subscribe button, hit the like button to let YouTube know that you are enjoying them. The link will be down below uh, to carry the crafters um, launch video explaining what exactly it is we are doing. But in short, six, four by six postcards, one a day, every day for the entire month of July. Today is day six. Till later, this is Cindy signing off.